Sorry for making you watch that, but I had to get lit up. Maybe I'll speed it up here. Need one little touch up there. Let's see if that will fix it. So. Yeah, that's good. I got my mug of tea. So anyway, I did that uh, video of the uh, the box opening of the ball pipe smoker, and uh, you know, opened opened the tins and uh, smelled the backy. And it's windy out here. Try to try to block the uh, mics, so uh, hopefully you won't get too much wind noise. You probably hear the wind chimes dingling and every now and then. But anyway, in that in that box of uh, of uh, I'm blow my computer off. And so uh, anyway, man, I'm losing track. Three minutes in, and I haven't said a thing yet. I said I couldn't smell a whole lot of Latakia in this. Everybody's making comments. You're crazy. That's got a lot of Latakia. Cousin Stuffy says your nose must be broken. Yeah, something's not right here. I think Hans S said something about it. something's not right here. So I went back and did a re-smell, and I can smell the Latakia. So I did kind of open it up, stir it around a little bit, pull this little tab out. We'll see now here. Maybe this is why I don't do reviews because I can't pick out a lot. I just smelt it earlier inside and I could pick up a lot of Latakia. Out here I'm not picking up near as much Latakia. Maybe it's because the wind is blowing and everything. Maybe that was a problem earlier today. But when I just smelt this like five minutes ago inside I could definitely smell the Latakia in there, so I don't know, it'll be fun to uh, load her up. I'm not going to do it tonight, since I just lit me up a cigar. I'm not going to do it tonight, but uh, nightcap. I know I should be having nightcap uh, tonight, so. So these Alec Bradleys. <clears throat> I like a lot of the Alec Bradleys. The black markets are pretty good as well. Nice smooth smoke on there. You know, I was giving shout outs earlier to a bunch of people, and I said there is a ton of people that, you know, I watch and I either forget to give a shout out or I forget their names. And uh, so I'm going to try to do a few more here. Again, I'm not going to get them all, but, you know, like uh, Tomas, he made a comment on my. Uh, nightcap and you know if you're not subscribed to some of these guys I can't imagine you're probably subscribed to them all already but go look up you know some of these guys Tomas from I believe Sweden if I remember right and so I really enjoy his videos he's getting ready to do a brake job it looks like on his car so that ought to be that ought to be fun I've done a few of those before uh, old Derek Tant and uh, he's got some pretty interesting videos as well I like Derek he's uh, be a little bit of a cut up every now and then, but that's what he aims for. That's what he's trying to do. And old William, 043, I believe he's in Houston, doing the gun show thing. Sounds like my kind of thing. I was telling him about the uh, Wanamaker gun show. They do twice a year up here in Tulsa. If anybody you're into guns and or gun shows and you're in the area, you're within driving distance, that is the show you need to come see. They do it twice a year and it is the largest gun show in the world. And so it is, it is amazing. You cannot see everything in that gun show. Uh, I will typically get there an hour and a half to two hours before the door opens that way you're in the first half of the line. The line will wrap around the building 
if you get there at about the time the door opens, it'll take you an hour to get in. And then if you start on one end of the building and just go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, looking at tables, you'll complete the whole thing by the end of the day. But if you actually take time to look and, you know, look at things and talk to the, you know, the guys back there, especially if you're looking for, looking for something in particular, uh, you, you'll have to go two days. It's a Saturday, Sunday. You'll have to go two days and you still won't see it all. And so, and a lot of times I go if I'm looking for a gun part or, you know, something like that. Because they will have it there. Uh, you can typically find anything you need. They are, I mean, people come within as long as they can uh, drive in. And there have been, you know, every year they always do a sum up and there's always people who've flown in from other countries to see it. That's probably not, probably not a all the time thing. But so anyway, hey, if you're ever in the area, look them up. Look them up online. <clears throat> you just do a search for Wanan. It's Wanamaker, but it's, 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 uh, if you, it sounds like Wanan Maker. Look up Wanan Maker, like W A N E N M A C H E R. And that'll be close enough. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but that'll be close enough to find it. And it is, it's a pretty amazing show. If you ever watch uh, Tom Gresham, like uh, Guns and Gear TV, he filmed a whole episode of Guns and Gear. It was either Guns and Gear TV or Gun Talk. One of his TV shows he filmed out there. And oh, Hans S, I did a re-smell. I did a re-smell on it, and I do pick up the Latakia. Oh, let me get my light back up there. I watched uh, Aquila Smokes do his, his either a Saturday or Sunday video on Monday. Pretty cool little invention he did there to make coffee. So I'm not a coffee drinker. I used to years ago, but it gives me migraine headaches, so I haven't drank coffee in years and years and years, so I don't think of those kind of things, but that's a pretty good idea. That'd be a good campsite coffee maker right there. He did a uh, pretty good job. So, uh, shout out to El Magnifico. Hope you're doing better, feeling better. I know you were under the weather, and you said you were feeling better. I haven't seen videos come out for a while, so that tells me you must really be under the weather if you're not putting uh, videos out. Pat Pope's been putting out some pretty good stuff. I like to watch Pat Pope. Very, very thoughtful, you know, comments and uh, make a lot of sense. Um, he puts out a lot of good videos. I really like to, I really enjoy uh, Pat Pope 49. If you're not already subscribed to him, go check him out. And then we have a fellow Okie. N.D. Piper. That's the letters N, letter D, and then Piper. She's a fellow Okie, so she's been putting out some pretty good videos. I like hers. Again, very thoughtful stuff. Um, she just did a contest. She's given away some uh, some tobacco. She won one of Carmen Cali Pipe Girls uh, contest, and then so what does she do? She turns around and does a contest, and that's that's a great thing about the community. Just you know what we call PIF, you know, pass it forward or pay it forward, however you want to look at it. And so that's the way I look at it, pay it forward and uh, so it'll it'll make its way around. So anyway, here's another 11 minute ramble video. I just want to give a few more shout outs and uh, tell everybody uh, who's telling me my nose is broken or something's not right up here. Well, you know, that, that's not the first time that's ever been said, but anyway, I did do a re-smell, and it's weird. I get, the only thing I can think of is maybe it's because of the airflow out here. When I smell this just now out here, I pick up a tiny bit of Latakia, not much. When I smelled it in the house, yeah, I could, I got that Latakia bomb. I could really smell it, so this ought to be, that ought to be a really good one, and I'll, of course, I'll bring you guys along as I do a taste test of it. And so maybe we'll do a tobacco talk about. And uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging in. Uh, you probably won't see me making videos for uh, a few more days. I'll try to pick this up.
I could pan around and uh, show the yard, but it's going to be primarily black except for, you know, what's right behind me here. And so, uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, you probably won't see me doing videos for a while because Tuesday uh, is my only day off. I'm on call 24-7. Uh, I guess it would be 24-6 every other day of the week. And so they've been keeping us running pretty long and hard, which is good. I like it. I don't, I don't want to be sitting idle too long. And so uh, I'll be trying to watch and comment, and uh, I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and see you next Tuesday, maybe earlier. Who knows? Hey, guys. Just in case this video wasn't long enough, I'm going to add just a little bit more to it because I'm sitting here smoking this cigar. You know, I've told you before. A lot of times I get out, you know, by myself, nice and quiet, smoke a pipe, smoke a cigar, my mind begins to wander. No, I'm not going to tell you about a uh, news story I heard on the radio. But I got thinking about the cigar and uh, some messages I'd been sending back and forth to uh, Steve L. And uh, talking about cigars. And he was saying a lot of cigars... Uh, that he's been smoking and trying have been, you know, really, really heavy in nicotine. They've been, you know, making you kind of nauseous or queasy. And I told him about, you know, eating some sugar and sometimes that still doesn't take care of it. And, you know, I gave you a couple of uh, recommendations of maybe some cigars for you to try. Uh, if and or when you try those, you know, let me know how you like them. But go into a local, talk to your local uh, brick and mortar guy in there. Uh, the guy who knows what he's talking about, ask him for some recommendations. Tell him you're looking for something with, um, you could say low strength. You want low nicotine is what you want. Now, a lot of times when you talk to a lot of brick and mortar guys, um, there's a difference between strength and, there's a diff and body. So you can have a full-bodied cigar but mild in strength. And strength is the nicotine level in there body is more of the feel and how thick how heavy how light at least that's the way I look at it and so uh, and you know what cigars aren't for everybody nothing wrong with that if you don't like cigars you know that's fine it's just like I kind of look at it with me I've tried several different aromatics and so far aromatics aren't for me as it not right now doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying them but you know and I've said before life is too got life is too short to smoke a bad cigar you know pitch the thing get rid of it. if you don't like it you don't like it nothing wrong with that so anyway but yeah just talk to your uh, local tobacconist and find out say hey I'm looking for something Mo and typically what you're probably gonna want I'm betting is something in a Connecticut wrapper uh, start out there and just tell them you're looking for uh, something with low nicotine levels and so a lot of times you go in again you go into a shop and they may confuse body and, str and uh, strength and so just because something is full body does not mean that it is uh, full of nicotine it may be but it may not be and so and uh, they can kind of guide you and uh, and uh, give you some recommendations so anyway just thought I'd throw that in there Steve hope that helps and uh, that's it I'm not gonna add any more to this video because it's gonna go forever I gotta get it uploaded it's gonna take a while to do that I'll catch y'all later thanks